Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout here with Alan Malventano. We're going to talk about more SSDs. SSDs. It's amazing. What do we have here today, <laughs> Alan? All right, uh, our pair of Corsair Force LX SSDs. Uh, we're looking at okay. two capacities today, 256 and 512. They also make a 128. Okay. They do not make a one terabyte okay. in this line. Um, this... Force LX, known yeah. as the green color. It's a green. I'm not sure and what the green signifies. the green signifies. in the background. This is well, all maybe. color coordinated. Yes. So what are you looking at? I mean, it, we, we've seen a lot of SSDs, what controller, yes. what performance. You remember how Sandforce was a thing and it ended up appearing everywhere? Uh, I do remember that, yes. Uh, Silicon Motion is starting to be the same kind of thing. They are, okay. So we, we reviewed the Angelbird, right? The Angelbird work, SSD work, mm -hmm. a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago. I remember that one. Silicon Motion 2246. Micron flash memory, 20 nanometer, all the same stuff. Same platform, essentially. Same exact platform. Okay. PCB almost looks exactly the same, even. SATA 6 gigabit per second interface. Yep. Uh, so the yeah. highlights from the Silicon Motion were that the, the sequentials were surprisingly fast and very consistent. OK. Right? Um, the random access was, eh, I mean, compared to the brand new drives coming out, it was on the low side. Yeah. But it wasn't horrible, either. Okay. Um, and then the other catch or gotcha was that as you go lower in the capacities, uh, since you're using 128 gigabit dies, the write speeds taper off fairly sharply. So is that the case here? Same case, same okay. exact case. Seems to scale the same exact kind of way. Um, even by their own specs, the write speeds start at 450 meg per second for a half a terabyte, and then 300 meg per second for the 256, and then mm -hmm. 150 meg per second for the 128. Okay. So that same kind of sharp You're fall having off. it pretty much at yeah. each iteration. Okay. Right. Um, and it's basically just because the, there's only so many dies and they can only go so fast right. to distribute those writes across. Um, but again, I mean, performance was pretty good. Right? Just like where we were talking about the Angelbird, the performance was a good performing SSD. Um, however, the price on these guys is significantly lower when you compare it to the mm. Angelbird. So the okay. 128 gig model is 90 bucks. So that's 70 cents a gig. Okay. Right. And then uh, this guy right here. 256. Yeah. Uh, 140 dollars. That's 55 cents a gig. Okay. Much lower. Mm. And then the 512 right now is 51 cents a gig at 260 dollars. So, so it's 260 dollars for the 512. Okay. Yeah. So almost to the 50 cents per gig point. Yeah. Right. Much much lower than the Angelbird. Okay. And basically the same hardware. Essentially the same hardware. The case is less fancy. It's, it's less fancy. It's, it's not extruded. Brushed black aluminum. It, it's nice, right? It's, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, but again, you're gonna put it inside a case. So nobody's gonna see it anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, Three-year warranty. There's that. Corsair. I mean, they've been around a while. Nothing really to worry about on. Yeah, like, yeah. They're a company that's not really going anywhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's always interesting. We talk, you talked about Sandforce, right? All these other companies started selling SSDs that weren't manufacturing any portion of an SSD. They were essentially right. taking off-the-shelf parts and maybe not even putting it together themselves, but kind of putting a different yeah. sticker on it, putting a different shell mm -hmm. around it and, and selling it. Um, I think what you're going to see is this is, I think the silicon motion controller is where everybody is moving towards all, all the guys that were packaging Sandforce. Yeah. What, any, any particular reason why you think that would be the case? Well, it does outperforms, it it outperforms Sandforce. So it's faster than Sandforce. Oh, yeah. And maybe silicon motion is just more accessible yeah. in terms of... Um, the, the IOPS performance on Sandforce... Once you go past 240 or 256 gig on Sandforce, it has to address its RAM differently, like it's a limitation of the controller. Mm -hmm. So the IOPS performance drops as you get to the half a terabyte capacity. Okay. Where Silicon Motion scales all the way up to like one terabyte. Right? With, with the work, we didn't see a one gigabyte or one terabyte capacity either, did we? Uh, no, we didn't. Is there we, a it reason? It is possible. It is, there's no reason why we haven't seen anything higher than 512 in it, these it's drives just, yet. Manufacturers just deciding whether or not to have a one terabyte model. Okay, I was just curious. I wonder if, you know, if uh, uh, price per gigabyte would scale accordingly. If it would continue to go below that fifty cents it does. per gig mark. Um, if we got up to one terabyte, we have another review coming. Same controller, all the way up to one terabyte. Oh, okay. And it still does scale. So it actually goes a little bit lower. Yeah, and the performance okay. kind of scales the same way too. It doesn't do any weird fall off stuff. And these are available now and shipping. They're and shipping. Everything. They're on. They're on Amazon. We've got links, even direct links in the okay. in the conclusion in the article, going straight there if you want one right away. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is the uh, Corsair Force LX series mm -hmm. of SSDs. Uh, make sure you go check out Alan's review at PCPer.com. It's got all the benchmarks and, like you said, the links to various places where you can uh, purchase these SSDs. We'll have more storage coverage for you in the not-too-distant future. Thanks, guys. Thanks.